Hello, Razvan. Thank you for joining.
Oh, great. My, my mic was off. Uh, so I was explaining that um, channel 5 is uh, the sequence there is generated by Riffer. And what I do is I randomize an idea and I just make sure that it's in G, it's in minor. And then after that, what I do is I decide the speed of this. Uh, in this case, it's, uh, it's one note. So I'm going to be grabbing this and drop it here, for instance, and that's going to be a new sequence. I can make it a bit faster, like half, let's say. Put a bit of shuffling uh, like this. Kind of grab this in here like that. And that's like a, a new uh, sequence there. I like to have some kind of um, similar approach with percussion. The idea is that I, I want to start with something simple uh, to get started and then I see where this leads to. Uh, but I like to have um, just like something really quickly. So um, yeah, um, drop in your questions if you have any and I shall answer if my microphone is not set too off. Yeah, that microphone drives me crazy. Yeah, Rosser is cool. The only thing I don't like about Rosser is that I can't uh, export easily, um, which I like with Riffer. So I'm going to be using this. Um, I also love uh, Alex Kid. So I'm just going to bring Alex Kid in here. Uh, the little sequencer is cool, the coin locker baby, um, I think I'm just gonna check in uh, for something, field recording. Uh, that's perfect. I'm gonna drop it here. I'm gonna go in slice mode, and then I'm gonna go get the Alex kid. Mm, let's try with the locker baby thing. 
uh, random, random, random. Uh, yeah, this one probably a little sequencer will do a better job for this. Salut Jérôme, c'est un bon samedi. Toi aussi. Je pense qu'on a. I think we have something now to work with. So let's see. By the way, Ableton 11 is amazing. It's so much fun. And in case you missed it, what I did is I played with the probabilities and uh, also the velocities here. I'm just gonna be making sure that everything is set um, properly that and I'm going to be recording I'm going to use push as well because why not
Wow, Sven. Hi. <laughs> it's been ages. So happy you joined. That's really awesome. Thanks for coming.
Hello, hello, hello.
cool cool how much time an hour and a half and I did this that's not bad that's not bad at all okay um, so for anyone that is wondering if upgrading to live 11 is a good move I would say yes I definitely don't miss uh, live 10 at all there was like a few things in life 10 that I really love when I jump from 9 to 10 but uh, 11 is um, for me it's it's great if you think about like what I just did with the um, the chances here the probability for each percussion it, it brings so much life really quickly and I don't have to, to do micro uh, tweaking which is um, when you're in the zone like you don't want to do like all the detail uh, oriented stuff you you kind of want to focus on the the big picture which is sort of what I did here um, really liking the vibe I don't think it's final I think there's like potential here um, Recently, like the work that I've been working on is more ambient related, so it's fun to do something that is a bit more uh, beat related, dance floor oriented, or uh, I would say dance driven for me. Um, it's not the same thing. The random function is not the same thing in Live 11. It's definitely not the same thing for from Max for Live. We're talking about something in the clip itself. So just to show you, I really like that all the uh, velocity can be randomized uh, in a in a click like that. That's like super cool. And uh, I like that I have access to the velocity of, of every uh, thing. And what I like is I can say this one I want to lower down the probability I can just come here so basically for me it, it's it's speeding up uh, everything I'm doing uh, and I love that I can go from one generated MIDI clip that is that can be sort of lacking a lot of uh, a lot of life and then decide that okay every two one I'm just gonna say these I'm just gonna lower like that so this is super fun super super fun and it's it's just a game changer for me and I also love the clip function when I just jump from here the follow action where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. I'm still not super familiar with it. And there's like a full action somewhere here and I'm missing it. But I like when I compose that I can just jump from one clip to another. I would have to look into that why I can't find it right now. But it's supposed to be here. MIDI expression, envelopes. Uh, oh wait, is it here? No, so weird. And also I can change the scale right here. G minor. So now the scales, uh, the notes are on scale, so that's good. If I do this, then um, it'll be fine. Really practical, really, really practical really fun sounding great the new uh, effects are sounding super nice and we have a beautiful snow uh, snowstorm here in Quebec it's beautiful for this kind of music all not to say it's I'm really happy about this investment it's great um, great great uh, software great version and people that are in my coaching group I offered some rebates so that was great. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I think that's it. And I think, you know, like when I work on a song, like I like to, to, to pause and 
just come back to it another time and be like, okay, this one's going to be working on the melody or the percussion. But whenever I have an idea, I'm just going to start with my idea and then layer on a skeleton as fast as possible and move on to the next one. So I'm going to stop the stream, but what I'm going to do actually is I'm, I'm going to take a bite and then I'm going to make another one. And I, I try to make skeletons like that as much as possible. So uh, thanks for joining. Until next time, take care.